Well, we want to make sure today that you can use clue words to help us find and understand cause and effect while reading. Would anybody like to share your thinking with us? Okay, Ava, what are you thinking? Um, I think the cause is late on a school, really late on a school night, and the effect is tired in the morning because um, if you stay up too late, you could be really tired in the morning. You guys agree? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, I think the cause is she ate too much cake because. You can almost say in a sentence, because I ate too much cake, or because she ate too much cake. So what's the effect? Because she ate too much cake and I did She had a stomach. You guys agree? All right. Great practice. So last week, we also learned there are some clue words that sometimes can help us find the cause and effect. Does anybody remember any of those clue words? There were a couple of clue words for cause, and there's a couple of clue words for effect. Justin, what do you remember? Because. Yes, and that is a clue for cause. And what's interesting is, look, it's part. Do you see the word cause and because? <laughs> Does anybody else remember another clue word, Abigail? Therefore. Do you remember what it's for? A yeah, cause or um, effect? Um, the cause. Yeah. It's actually the effect. This is tricky. So that clue word, therefore, will help you find the effect. Like, it was cold this morning, therefore I wore my heaviest jacket. Does that sound good to you? Does anybody else remember another clue word, Lorenzo? So. Yes. And so also helps us find the effect. It was cold this morning, so I wore my biggest jacket. Does that sound good to you? Okay. All right. The last one is one since. Since it was cold this morning, I wore my heaviest jacket. All right, so those clue words can help us find cause and effect. We are going to use these colors, blue and green, to help us mark when we find a cause or an effect. And whenever we find a cause, we're going to mark it blue. And whenever we find an effect, we're going to mark it green, just to help us analyze. So here's an example. After I read it, I want you to look for the clue words. See if you can find one. Cats take many naps because they have lots of energy and play for a long time. Put your thumb up if you can see one of those clue words. Okay, shout it out. Because. You did. You found because. I'm going to circle it in blue. Now, that should help you figure out which is the cause and effect in this sentence. Do you guys agree that because they have lots of energy and play for a long time is the cause? Yeah, and that clue word, did it help you find it? Yeah. Now this is tricky because the cause doesn't always go at the beginning of a sentence, does it? All right, so th Lorenzo, thank you. Who found the effect? Cats take naps. Cats take many naps. Does that make sense to you all? Mm -hmm. But that's the effect. All right, you guys did a great job. Effect will be green and the cause will be blue. And the reason I'm showing you this with the markers is because you guys are going to get ready to do the same coding with a green and blue pencil to help you make sure you understand cause and effect. So I am going to give you a piece, a text, and it looks like this. It's called, the title is Backpacks Mean Back Aches. And I'm going to read it to you first before I hand it to you. And then you and your partner are going to work together to try to find some clue words to help you find cause and effect. There will be one cause and effect in the first paragraph, and you will write it here. You'll find another cause and effect in this paragraph, and you'll write it here. And you'll find a third cause and effect in the last paragraph, and you will write it here. So, Justin, what do you think happened first? Were the backs high overloaded, or did the kids get um, back aches? What do you think happened first? The back aches or the heavy back Okay, so you think that happened first? So then that's going to be your cause. Alright, so the first one is left. No. It's tricky when it's at the end of the sentence, isn't it? Okay, so 
Okay? So can you switch your colors? No big deal. But you're right, the backpacks were heavy and then the kids got the backpacks. That makes sense, okay? Raise your hand if you'd like to share with us. Did you find a clue word that helped you find cause and effect? Because. Did everybody else find because? Yes. Awesome. And so it should be blue, which is a blue word for cause. And so, Derek, do you feel comfortable to share the cause and effect? Not really. Okay. Is there anybody who feels comfortable to share the cause and effect here? Okay. Um, I think the cause is because backpacks are overloaded. You guys agree? Yep. That happened first. The backpacks are overloaded, and then what's the effect after that? Doctors are saying the children to be affected. That causes the children to get the backaches. Did anybody find a clue word that helped you find cause and effect? The word since, and that is a clue word for cause. Where's and it is hiding right here. So, Connor, do you feel comfortable to share the cause and effect? The cause is kids often carry more than they should, and the effect is backpacks become too heavy. Exactly. So that makes sense in my mind. I understand that the teachers are asking the kids to put more and more things in their backpacks, and that is what makes the backpacks too heavy.